Module 3, Explaining. Blood pressure. Not all healthcare aids measure blood pressure. Measuring blood pressure is a delegated act. This means you have been specifically trained on the procedure, it is in your job description, and you have reviewed the procedure with a nurse and are allowed to do it. In this session, we will not actually teach you how to do the procedure, but you will learn a bit about blood pressure, some of the language related to it, and how to determine if a blood pressure reading is outside the normal range. What is blood pressure? It is the force that the blood exerts as it pushes against the walls of an artery. It is affected by how hard the heart contracts how much blood it pumps, and how easily the blood flows through the arteries. Blood pressure is usually reported as one number over another number. For instance, a very normal blood pressure report would be reported as 120 over 75 mmHg. What does that mean? Well, the higher number, 120, is the systolic pressure. Systolic pressure is the amount of pressure needed to pump blood out of the heart. The lower number, 75, is the diastolic pressure. Diastolic pressure is the amount of pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest. MMHG stands for millimeters of mercury. That is, blood pressure is reported as systolic pressure over diastolic pressure millimeters of mercury. Systolic pressure and diastolic pressure each have normal ranges. You may have heard the terms hypertension and hypotension. Hypertension is when someone's blood pressure is consistently over 140 over 90 mmHg. That is, Hypertension is when a person's blood pressure is consistently over the normal range for both systolic and diastolic numbers. Hypotension is the opposite. It is when blood pressure is consistently under 90 over 60 mmHg. So, what should you report? Well, to decide what to report, you will need to take a look at both numbers. First, you should report any systolic pressure outside the normal range. 100 to 140 mmHg. That is, take a look at the first number. If it is above 140 or below 100, you should report it. Here are some examples. 156 over 70. 180 over 60. 90 over 80. 190 over 70. You should also report any diastolic measure that is outside of the normal range. The normal range 60 to 90. That is, take a look at the second number. If it is over 90 or under 60, you should report it. Here are some examples. 120 over 95. 135 over 120, 105 over 100, 125 over 40. In the activities below, you will practice deciding whether or not a pulse rate or respiratory rate is outside of the normal range and should be reported. Try it out. Let's get started.